October is Substance Abuse Prevention Month. And a local doctor on the front lines of the opioid epidemic is asking Congress to reconsider making all types of fentanyl illegal. And the reason may surprise you. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins explains how doctors and scientists believe some types may actually help save lives. When you think of fentanyl, you probably think of street drugs and busts, but there are several different kinds. I think most people don't even realize it is a really important medicine, and so it's something that we use therapeutically for people for a number of reasons every day. There's a bill pending in Congress to make all types of fentanyl illegal. Dr. Ryan Marino was on the front lines of the opioid epidemic. He says that's not a good idea. He and more than a hundred other scientists and doctors sent a letter to the Biden administration saying Congress may inadvertently criminalize therapeutic medications similar to naloxone and other life-saving medications when the U.S. is facing a record number of overdose deaths. There are 44 fentanyl molecules in question. Only a few of these molecules have actually been tested appropriately to know how, the, how they function. And one of these molecules we actually know would antagonize or oppose the effect of an opioid like fentanyl. So it functions something like Narcan. Narcan or naloxone is the go-to overdose reversal drug, but sometimes it's not strong enough to reverse a fentanyl overdose. And so in terms of making that a federal schedule one drug, that doesn't make any sense because that's actually something that could potentially be useful in, in treating and preventing overdoses. Ohio's overdose death rate dropped 7 percent, but the state is still fourth in the nation for overdose deaths with more than 5,000 last year. This law may be redundant. There already is a federal law in place to make analogs of fentanyl that are not used medically, so not FDA-approved pharmaceuticals, are already considered illegal. So it wouldn't be Narcan that was made illegal. He's referring to a part of the fentanyl drug that could be better than Narcan in treating fentanyl overdoses. Now, the Protecting Americans from Fentanyl Trafficking Act was introduced in the Senate this past January. It's had a second reading, but so far no further action has happened on it. But Dr. Marino and those uh, other hundred scientists and doctors are hoping that this letter will just make Congress aware that they may be making a mistake in his opinion. So interesting. Now we'll have to see what happens next on this. Mm -hmm. And it's a big deal. Yes.